Yes, people, what's happening? True Fitman here. Um, I'm not even going to beat around the bush. I'm just going to go straight into it. You know when some people say, the real Jews are black, or the Jews of the Bible were black. This is what they mean. I'm on the um, Bible Gateway website here. And this is from the... Book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 1. Now watch this. The word of the Lord, which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. Now the key word here is Cushi. Now let's find out what Cushi means. Okay, so, from the same source, Bible Gateway, I'm not making it up, um, it shows you that the word Cushy can mean black or an Ethiopian. That means that um, you can be a black person, but not necessarily an Ethiopian. If it's referring, yeah, so you're, you're Cushy, it means the same thing. So, in this context, um, since Zephaniah um, was from the tribe of Judah, that means he was from the um, bloodline of Shem, not Ham. So, he, he was an Ethiopian, but he was still Cushy, which means black. See, because it can mean the same thing. Black or an Ethiopian, yeah? So we know that um, Prophet Zephaniah was a black man, yeah? Um, we go into another site here. This is Bible Hub. It's another reference, yeah? And um, it just shows you the same thing. Um, it shows you various places where the word cushy is mentioned. And here it shows you that um, Zephaniah... Yeah, was the grandson of King Hezekiah, who was the king of Judah. Right? Now, another source. Last one. Um, check this out. Prophet Zephaniah. The best known biblical figure bearing the name Zephaniah is the son of Cushi and great great grandson of King Hezekiah. Yeah? So, he was from the tribe of Judah. And that's the same tribe they say Jesus was from, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, notice, yeah, um, Zephaniah was a black man, but the images, shows you here from the 18th century, Russian, and there's one here from the 17th century, shows you that the, you know, the images have been whitewashed. And this is how they distort history. They do it by portraying biblical characters as white people. And then, you know, you go online and, you, you know, you try and share um, information, the truth. And then, you know, you get some, if you notice, if you, when you go on YouTube and that, and you look in the comment section... Any anything to do with black history or you, or you're sharing information that you know the Egyptians were black or you know the children of Israel were black and you get little races coming out mocking it behind their keyboard in it and talking about you know um, writing we was kings <laughs> we um, w u z was we was kings like mocking it now it shows you that they're either ignorant. Or they're deliberately um, mocking it. And then you've got other people spreading misinformation to counteract that. Um, now, this, this, this distortion of history. Where they will get um, white people to play black people in films. Like the Ten Commandments. You know. Um, and all these other films where... We know that the you know the characters are black, in you know films about Egypt and that. Notice how they get they they will hire white actors to play the role 
of black people, historical um, figures and stuff like that, and then they will get they will hire black people to play the role of, of slaves. Now you see how tricky, slippery, and slithery they are. <laughs> this is how they distort history and the the um, National Geographic. Um, the History Channel, Hollywood and all these people, they're all in cahoots with one another to distort history. You know what I mean? Any website that shows um, um, characters of, of, of black people and portray them as white people shows you they're in cahoots. They're all in cahoots together. Even the Sumerians, who call themselves the black-headed people, they show you white pictures and say to make you think that the Sumerians were white. But that's a whole another topic. But I'm just showing you here that the prophet Zephaniah, who came from the um, tribe of Judah, the same tribe that um, they say Jesus came from, was a black man. Now, when you share this information with some people, instead of the truth setting them free, they turn around and hate you for it. And I'm talking about, like, not just ordinary people, but, you know, Christians, whether they be, you know, Catholic or, you know, Mormon or, you know, because they're all reading the same book and they all claim to be, you know, the followers and have the truth and everything else. Instead of them being appreciative, they turn around and hate you for it, scorn you for it. The relationship ain't the same. Yes. And it shows you it shows you that truth is not in their heart. You know, and these are the same people that the Bible talks about. The wicked. They hate the truth. And, you know, a lot of them, some of them, make a concerted effort to cover the truth up. Try and counteract it. And that's when you see all these white, washed images of Jesus and everything else. You know what I mean? And you've got truthful white people exposed in this as well. Yeah, so... It's just the racist ones you have to look out for. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this short little video. Um, don't let no one fool you. You know? And the information that um, I've shown you is there for everyone. It's not just there for me. I'm just sharing it. I've just taken time out to make this video and sharing it with you. So, yeah. Peace out, man. Peace.